Hey guys, welcome back to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. This is a two-part video series. If you didn't catch part one, where I framed the wheel wells, the link will be in the description below. In this video, I'll be installing the wheel wells and applying a waterproof coating to the outside. So let's pick up where we left off in the last video. If you're going to use a nail gun, you're going to have a gun jam. What happens is uh, too many nails get fed into the uh, chamber and they wedge in between the pin and the outer wall here. So first thing you do is disconnect your air, take the nails and put them, put them back so they're out of the way of the pin. Flip your gun up like this. Uh, a nail punch works great, but sometimes a, a nail will work. Push that back in, and typically the nail is going to be wedged in there somewhere. I got it out. Then you can plug your gun back in and put the nails in and pick up where you left off. So these shorter walls, I'm going to plywood after. I got to cut this plate out, cut the plywood out, and then I'll put a piece of plywood in there. Since it's going to be hanging over in a bunch of places, I don't want to nail it on premature. So I need to cut this. Um, this bottom plate out and also the plywood out. Uh, I'm going to use a sawzall to cut the plate out and I'll go on the outside and I'll cut the plywood. So say you want to do a cut into this without cutting into the plywood. You just got to hold the saw real good and then just slowly bring it down. And Once you get all the way through it'll be easier but it's going to buck and it's going to kick like crazy. crazy. My eyeballs just detached from my retina. Oh my god. Clearly I nailed it in somewhere. So I need to figure out where my uh, plywood's going to get cut out. So right now I'm going to get some rough, rough measurements so I can cut my Tyvek paper and peel it back and then I'll get more accurate measurements. So I'm just going to cut just like that. Peel that back. So here's a little tip. If you're uh, marking this and you need this line to continue all the way, you could go get a, a framing square and do it, but that's all the way inside. And who wants to walk inside? I mean, it's literally 10 feet away. Oh, gosh, so far. So what you do is you take your chalk line, you put it right there, and you can just go with that mark. So you just bring this chalk line over. Since this doesn't need to be dead nuts, That'll be close enough to where I need it to be cut. You can see this plate ran long. So what I'm going to do is set my uh, saw to two inches. I'm not really, I'm just going to set it to something. And I'm going to cut that off. I'm angry at the world. I declare this spot mine. Peanut, don't come out that way. You're going to get tangled. Go back where you came from. Dude, I came from the streets in the hood, man. You notice, you pick me up in the hood. That one of them pounds. I'm just going to make sure everything's clean for the bottom plate. Now, I didn't snap any lines for these because they're just basically going flush with this. And since they don't really need to be that accurate, it's OK if they're a little off. Next I can install my longer wall. Just want to make sure it's sitting tight to that. I made this wall so the plywood was flush with the steel down below. So I just want to make sure that it's, it's flush there and I can nail the bottom plate. Holy shit. Now I can install my, uh, my top section. And since I made this, these shorter walls a half inch shorter, this piece of plywood is just going to cover this framing right here. I'm going to make sure I'm flush or close to flush on each end. And I'm going to nail this board into the header there. I can also toenail this plate down into the other plate. You see that? That's what you call a mistake. But hey, remember? Remember, no one knows when you make mistakes because from a distance it looks like you did good. So I cut my piece, I can place that in here. Why are you nailing into steel? 
That might be the stupidest thing you ever did in your life. And that's nailed in. I'll have to go back and uh, drill a hole here and put one of the um, steel screws in here to hold this. But I probably won't do that, but I'm telling you that I'm going to, but I'm not going to. I can also back nail this plywood. This plywood hang, hung over to cover this header, so I can back nail this. Pretty nice wheel well you got there. Come here often. When you work a full-time job and you're building a tiny house, you have no days off. Easy. I mean, why you gotta get so aggressive? I mean, where's the love? So I bought this roof and foundation coating. Basically what it is is a thick tar. All right, I didn't have a paintbrush, but I found this old um, broom that's not working anymore. So I'm going to use that. It seems like it's uh, working pretty well. Oh, you forgot your gloves. Wear protection. So you end up with mistakes. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. So I'm just going to cover this thing completely. I might do the steel. I'm not sure. I'm going to come up, roll all this. I want to make sure I get every little crack and crevice covered in there. And then I'll come back and put um, uh, Tyvek paper. I'm lapsed. Music, start now. Please, thank you. I like music. <laughs> wandering for years I was adrift oh the back of my head just hit it like a swallow on a cliff but slowly I found purpose and my life became more clear I found my destination yeah but now where do I go from here cuz I'm already there I'm already everywhere I'm already there I'm already everywhere I've got a wife, two kids, and a picket fence Everything was hazy, now it's making sense Alright, I made it so now Alright, so I installed a uh, layer of Tyvek paper over that tar now I'm going to go back and I'm going to seal this completely with another layer of tar. So basically with this I've created tar paper. I know a lot of people are going to give me a lot of slack for this, but if you're using tar paper on your tiny house, this is the exact same thing. It's just it's a liquid form and it's messy. Oh my gosh, it is messy. But um, you know, for 15 bucks, I was able to make this wheel well versus $150. Uh, also, this the tar that I'm using is used for sealing foundations, and if you were to f seal a foundation on a regular house, you're talking probably 100 gallons of this stuff to, to seal your foundation. So, one gallon for my tiny house, I don't think is a, a bad thing. But you, watching, shaking your head, you find it to be a problem. I don't. I'm living in 160 square feet. What? Timmy has fallen down the well. We need to rescue him. Let me free. Let me free. I will go rescue Timmy. The lights are out. The crowd is gone. But there's no going back. Cause you're already there. You're already everywhere. You're already there. I did this side a little different. The other side I had uh, just put the tar up over on top of this. On this side I'm just going to fold this down and cover this up so it won't be as hideous looking. That was hands down the messiest thing that I'm going to have to do on this tiny house, hopefully. You see how I did this side? 
Looks pretty nice, neat, orderly. Uh, on this side, it looks like um, a geyser erupted. I mean, holy crap. Yeah, I was able to clean myself up with uh, a rag and some mineral spirit. Uh, it's like paint thinner. I think it might be a little less aggressive. You might not want it on your skin, but you probably don't want tar on your skin either, but it cleans this stuff up real quick, real easy. And then right after you're done, I, I wash with soap and water and rinsed any of it off. If I break out in hives, then you won't watch this clip because it won't make it in the video. Oh, don't use this near an open flame, you'll burst. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video and felt it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. And to really show me some love, click right up there and show your support. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you tune in next week. I will be installing Peanut. You got you can't you can't be in here. Why? You're in here. I should be allowed to be in here too. This is equal rights. So in my next video series, I'm gonna be installing my water catchment system. This thing is sick.